YouTube, what the fudge is going on? I've got Chad, the owner of Dynamic BMW here in Huntley, Illinois, and we are gonna do a video with his incredible G80, by far one of the fastest G80s in the world, right next to me. It's incredible. Probably the cleanest engine bay too. Not only speed, performance, sound, looking incredible. So what's underneath the hood of this? A lot. Yeah. Uh, we got an engine, we got a turbocharger, lots of fuel, an engine. Do we have an intake manifold? Did I already say? Intake manifold? Yeah, do we have one of those? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. And these bolts, what are these? Because these are just eye candy right here. Downstar hardware. Perfect. Only the best. Downstar. And then obviously forged carbon. Is this factory? Yep. Yeah, so what I did was I powder coated uh, the front strut tower brace mm -hmm. black. And then also on top of the radiator core support as well, we have this also powder coated black. I had those components in purple, but... Too much purple. It was just too much. Purple. It was like, purple! And then we got a giant turbo blanket. And I'm gonna teach you a little something, but you can actually pull this off and it adds 40 horsepower. Did you know that? I actually did know that. Okay. Yeah, they're, uh, they, just, <laughs> they just did a dyno run on this. Uh, it was uh, Merrick at M Powerhouse just posted on social media that he uh, laid down a ton of power. If you guys don't know Murek, go check him out, M Powerhouse. He did a dyno run, he didn't change anything. With this on, took this off, 40 more horse. So I'm willing to see if that works. And can we just get a moment of silence for all the bugs that went into this? And on the front. Yep. <laughs> We killed the whole cast of Bugs Life on the front. The whole cast of Bugs Life. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that back on there because we don't want you getting 40 more horsepower on this beast. No, don't, don't eat it. And what tune or map are we running today? So I'm running a custom tune by Paul Johnson Tunes. Uh, Paul Johnson is the custom tuner of my choice. Um, I've heard his name a lot. Yeah, he's pretty big, F80 Paul. Um, on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, so the tune that we're running is the flex tune. So even though we're full E85 and we're using uh, actually E90 in this car, uh, it is race fuel, oxygenated race fuel, um, but the map will self adjust. So we could have anything from 93 all the way up to E91 and it'll self adjust for that map um, and right now we're throwing down about 44 and a half PSI uh, on it. that tune. So that's our street tune. Wow. And then we have a kill map uh, for the track. That's insane. And what time do you think you're going for on the track mm. this year? This car in theory should throw down a very, very deep eight second okay. run. But I think that the more R&D uh, that's going on with this platform right now. Um, traction, tires, prep, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. This exact setup right here should possibly run a high seven. High seven, wow. It could. Right, that's gonna be insane. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get in the car and let's go take this thing for a drive. Let's do it. And we are in his insane G80. It's one of the fastest in the world, and we're on his, I believe, his 1150 wheel horsepower map, right? Yeah, it's on the Flex Tune street map. Okay. About 44 and a half PSI. And you got a kill map, right? I've got a kill map for the track. Okay. And are we gonna go to the track this year? Or we're going. Okay, good. Yeah, it's gonna get done sometime. We gotta get that done, and then he's got his drag radials he's gotta put on. Yep, we have uh, beat locks. Uh, with some Mickey T's, um, Nittos in the front. We're probably going with a, a special setup, uh, drag setup. We've got some custom front wheels being made for this, but it should get up and go. And you're at, you said 48 pounds of boost, or? 40, about 45 pounds of boost on the street map. Yeah. On the, uh, on the kill map, it's going to be 50 plus. And have you driven yourself in the kill map yet? No. Okay. I'm a little scared. Yeah. Like scared. Hey, listen. If you're used to 1,300 wheel horsepower in an all-wheel drive car launching like a, then that's cool. Power to you. But uh, it's a scary thing. It's a oh, scary for thing. sure. You got to learn to drive the car. Um, be a good driver. Be aware of what you're doing. 
Uh, there's a lot of safety involved, and I think that Absolutely. a lot of these younger drivers and or, let's not rule out just young, but uneducated drivers that just don't have the experience are watching all these YouTube videos of uh, guys and gals, you know, getting after it, uh, doing burnouts, and um, they're crashing their cars. For sure. And uh, you have to be safe. You have to do the right thing and get to know the car go out get a lesson um, if you go to the track you know start off conservatively do a couple passes slow that's build what I did. your way up yep, I couldn't recommend that enough and what's all gone into this build I know it's a lot Wow everything but we're talking about like upgraded internals right yeah we've got a fully built motor uh, we've got custom Kelford cams. We have a Precision 7275 ball bearing next gen turbo. Is that considered a hybrid turbo? Or is um, it, it's it's um, Precision's new release. Yeah, right. it's not. No, it's not a hybrid turbo. Uh, this is a this is a full frame big turbo. Okay. Um, and then we've got a CSF intake manifold that's cooling uh, all of the air. Air intakes, exhaust, downpipes. Exhaust is a custom one-off uh, by IRL and uh, myself uh, fabricated up a, a new single downpipe for this car. We also have a pure stage two trans with a built uh, converter in it uh, to handle all the power. So does that cover the transfer case? Or is that, you don't uh, have to worry about that? On well, case. I mean, transfer case, hindsight being 2020. Uh, we should definitely have sent that in at the same time, but we're gonna yeah. push our luck. Okay. And are you uh, happy with the sounds this car makes? Yeah, I'm super happy with them. It sounds it's like nice. a jet, like I can't even exaggerate that. I know you guys hear that a lot, but cars sound like a jet, but this is insane turbo flutter. We're gonna hear it in a minute. And so we are warming up the tires and getting the car ready to do some holes on it. And this is gonna be insane. I already know my uh, heart's gonna end up on the back seat of the car. Chad's done this a few times, and I don't think it ever lets him down. It doesn't. <laughs> it's always a thrill ride. Do you think this is your favorite car you've built? Yes. Okay. Hands down. And what would you say is the close second? And there's no way it's the M340. Oh, man. You know what? Each car I like for different reasons. Mm -hmm. They all add a bit of something else that you don't get from the other car. But the M340 is just a great daily with yeah. 900 horsepower. The yeah. 335 is just raw. It's just a raw N54 older car, six-speed manual that obviously I can't get from this. Mm -hmm. This car is just crazy. Neat. Yeah, I mean, you're the reason I got my X3M, and I still love that car. Love it. Like, I was just thinking about it. It's like, for the price of 50 grand to get a used one that's... Insanely fast, so much potential, reliable, mm. and just so much fun. Yeah, the X, X3Ms are really, uh, I would say, underrated, and uh, but they're growing attention quickly. They could definitely, uh, with guys like you and Brock. Yeah, Brock's getting a lot of views. The one thing I don't like about the X3M is just like, it doesn't look as aggressive as the X5M. Like, I know once I'm done with the car, it'll look good. Yeah, when you do what you're gonna do to it, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be some, some other effects, candy. lip, yes. and yeah, it needs a lip. Yeah, some we're other gonna do some wheel spacers. We're getting wheels, uh, Rahana wheels. We're your lower rear spoiled. Yep, yep, wheels. Oh, that baby CSF intake manifold sometime. Yep, yeah, yeah, full send. I've been in his M340, which is 900 wheel. That was insane. And I was I only got a taste of that. I didn't get to go on it. I know this is gonna be stupid. Okay, we're solid. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Us is about a mile behind us right now. Yeah. 
we hit at least 50 miles an hour on that pole. Yeah, does it get squirmy? Like, oh yeah, do you yeah, see yeah, me like hold the thing down? Yeah. <laughs> Would you have better grip with the drags on, obviously? Or? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Even on the street. That's what I was gonna ask. But it's 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 squirrelier on the road with the uh, the drag. Seriously. On it. Yeah. But on a track, absolutely not. Yeah, on a uh, on a quarter mile track. Yeah. So how was that pull in your eyes? Um, I shifted a little late on the third okay. gear. But we can do it again. So what did you think? Oh, that was insane. Words can't describe that. Oh yeah. I was expecting something, but I wasn't expecting that. And I can only imagine what the kill map is like, because you know it's serious when Chad hasn't even done it yet. There we go. So my watch will predict like if I fell, right? Oh and it'll say gosh. emergency SOS. Yeah. Um, but it's funny because when you launch these cars, no joke. Yeah. The um, I forget the message that's displayed. Somebody will probably comment on it. Mm -hmm. But it it says incident uh, detected. Yeah. And then it says, do you need help or something of that nature? But when you launch, it hits so hard. Oh, I believe it. Oh. All right, this is pole technically three. Hey, did you see where Nate went? I haven't seen Nate. I think he went to grab a water. Weird. Here we go. Dude. Oh my gosh. Ooh, baby. Yeah. This is the greatest sounding car. Ever just raw power, just intakes. You got great exhaust note. That I don't know what that is. Those are the wastegates. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> that alone is insane. Like, gah, 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 gah. Dude, I hope the cameras pick that up because that is nuts. By the way, we're on a closed course um, as the bus passes by. <laughs> We're on a closed course, uh, back drag street. Private property. Private road. Yes. Private road. To the Coleman estate. So uh, what did you think sitting in the passenger seat? What is the I don't like? think I could control this car. I'd have to have a lot of practice, but like what I felt was just me sinking into my chair and then some. So these leather chairs, I was part of them. Uh, you cannot lift yourself up. I was trying to hold myself on that second pole just to see if I could do it, and no, you cannot. The G-Force and insane. The best adrenaline rush for free. Smiles so, per gallon. Compared to um, like the fastest car you've ever been in, mm -hmm. what's the fastest car you've ever been in? A 1,300 wheel horsepower GTR, and it's very, very similar. Okay. I think this is way more raw. Because okay. the GTR is like a box, but I think this is just sports car more. And you know, when I got the pole in the GTR, it was nothing like these poles. The, to be able to um, go for a ride on a roll race session mm -hmm. with one of those GTRs, they're running like 220, 230 miles an hour, mm -hmm. something like that. I mean, real. 2,400 horsepower, 2,600. Thank you for the ride. You're welcome. That was mental. You know, let's off road. Those are fast. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he wants to run us. 
Light them up. Right. Three, two. <laughs> I never got that. They're so fast, right? It's like, yeah. they're like, okay, man, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Three, two. Three, two, one. Yeah, I know, yeah. seriously. <laughs> You're trying to process where the, like. They're like, all right, on the third beep, okay? The third. The third. One, two, three. <laughs> And getting out of that car that that was a thrill <laughs> puts amusement park rides to shame yes Let's just sir. say that so that was an insane ride i cannot thank you enough for that absolutely what like what went into that like the prep to do pulls like that safely well i mean just making sure your tune is dialed in mm -hmm. you know like um uh my tuner paul johnson uh, we just send logs back and forth we test with the the, the right fuel make sure we have the right fuel in the car it was just that our uh, air fuel ratios are dialed in was, perfectly. I know we talked about fuel earlier in the video. But yeah, so we have ethanol one. So is that 100 octane or is that something different? So this is over 100 octane. Oh, really? This is race uh, ethanol. And that's what's in the car right now? Correct, yeah. Wow. Yep. And how much does, I don't know what that is, a gallon? These Obviously, are the, five gallons. Five gallon. how much is one of those? Uh, so about, I don't know, 55, 60 bucks. Okay. Per five gallons. I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ignite Red's very popular as well. Yeah. Um, we used that before. I personally love this because it's 117 octane. Wow. So, um, but you don't need that. Like I said, we have a flex fuel tune mm -hmm. and that's dialed in to whatever ethanol and or regular gas you put into the car. And that was just all that. It Nothing was else. all that on wow. that ride. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That was a, that was crazy. Which, how do you think the holes went personally? I think they went good, man. I mean, um, we're still dialing in the car, uh, working some stuff out, but otherwise uh, it, it pulled nice and hard. I'm yeah. really um, impressed with this platform, with the power that we can put through these things. Mm -hmm. We have stock axles, um, you know, the, the body is not, um, altered in any way. Stock transfer case. Stock transfer case, yeah. exactly. Subframes, there's no additional support needed. And we're rolling on 1300. Yeah, this is just crazy. And I really appreciate you taking the time to give me a ride and show me the car. Absolutely, my friend. Good see you. So Chad, you've obviously got an incredible build. I know you have another build parked outside. Yep. Your build is insane. Like no. what inspires you mm -hmm. and what keeps you going? Yeah, really like every part of my life is um, go, you know, go hard. If, uh, if you can't go 110%, don't do it at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I choose to do something that is the quality of our work uh, on the performance and the repair side of the business, we strive to do um, the best, the strongest, the fastest, uh, and do it reliably. So would you say you're living life in Sport Plus? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I love it. Dynamic Sport Plus. You got it, man. Yes, sir. That's what we do. So where can people find Dynamic BMW? Yeah, uh, they can hit us up on Instagram at Dynamic BMW uh, or our uh, web page is uh, DynamicBMW.com. Look for us pretty soon. We're going to be having a YouTube channel come out. I'm excited. Me like, too. comment, subscribe, and I'll be tagging their Instagram down below. I'm out.